Hi, I'm Tony Fowl. I had this uh, start right drill press for probably about 50 years, but it still works just the same as it did when I got it originally. Uh, but it's always had one very annoying feature, is that it doesn't have a rack and pinion like a lot of drills where you can wind the column up and down when you want it. With this, it was a question of using two hands to lift it up, even to pull it down. This video is showing what I did to fix it with the explanation of why it acts like it does. So let's get into it. The magic of physics, take one. Uh, the drill is in the normal standard uh, setup at the moment. Let's see what happens when I release the clamp. Nothing. It doesn't go down. It doesn't go up. So let's see what happens if I just lift a little bit, just a finger touch underneath. And it goes down under its own weight because I released the jamming effect on here. I just put a slight opposing moment which was enough to just release that jamming and it came down under its own weight. Now to get it back up, it doesn't matter how much force I put under it here, it won't go up. Now I can either use two hands like I just did or I have to stand here and I'll lift at the back and lift at the front. Okay, so going down in its standard form as a piece of cake, coming up is not so much. If I put a vise on here and do the same, okay, I've, I've released that. It doesn't go anywhere because it's got this jamming moment back here. So I just put a finger touch on there. And it goes down even faster. But now I've got to lift that up. But I can't do it by lifting here because what I'm doing, the extra force I've had to put on here, is increasing the jamming moment back here. So the only way I can do that is to put a force at the back to balance the moment that I'm putting up here. So there. It's not terribly easy. I've added a counterweight and for neatness I've made it so it slides down the inside of this column. It's connected to the table via this cable at the rear which is acting upwards on the table. This is the, the counterweight which I cast up out of lead. It's a long and small diameter so that it fits inside the column easily. The cable runs over this pulley which is centered over the column supporting the weight. Even though the weight is quite long there is still sufficient length left in the column to get the full range of movement available. So I release this, as before, it stays where it is. Now remember, when I did this previously, a light up force on here sent the table crashing down. Now what happens, it sends it zooming up. Now, how do we get it back down? I push on here, that doesn't work. What I have to do the more I push, the more I increase the jamming moment on here. So what I have to do is press down at the back and lift up a little bit at the front to release this moment. But the force at the back must be higher than what I'm lifting here. Otherwise, it will still go up or stay where it is. So I can push it down. And it's pretty easy to move. Let's put the vise on. And check that okay the, the clamps loose so a slightly stronger 
finger force was necessary to lift it up with the vice on. And coming down, again, I can't pull that down anyway. I have to push at the back and then it comes down. But it's totally controllable and that's quite acceptable. But, as you know, I like to do better if I can see a way. So I've got this one and a half kilogram weight that I cast up. So I'll put that on this lever that I've got out the back. I'll just turn that around so you can probably see it in the video. I've got this uh, arm out the back which is bolted onto the top of the table here. It's got the cable coming down here that connects onto it, pulls upwards. And I've now put um, uh, this one and a half kilogram weight at the back. So let's put it into a middle position. Here we go. Right, so it's not clamped. I've got the vice on here and I've got more load pushing it down. But very easy force with the finger to lift it up. Now I've got this extra moment coming from this one and a half kilogram weight at the back so I don't have to push so hard at the back here to get it down. So I lift a little at the front to help uh, release the jamming moment and there we go. Pretty easy to get down, very easy to get up loaded with the vise. Of course a different weight vise, different work pieces and things it's all going to be a bit different but the thing is overall it's a hell of an improvement that's it isn't physics wonderful if you uh, like this video or any of the others please share subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the uh, button to receive updates of any other videos thanks for watching